This is the full review of Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition after one year. It's a great phone that's aging really well. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Samsung is known for their flagship S series, but inside of the S series, we still have the famous and well received FE series, or what we call the Fan Edition. Confuse much? Fan Edition is basically the phone from last year, sold at a lower price that launches before the flagship of the current year. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is basically the Samsung S21 of last year, sold together with S22, but with a lower and more budget friendly cost. Despite the outdated components of the phone, the aging Snapdragon 888, and non adaptive refresh rate and lackluster build, the S21 FE is actually a great phone that is aging well. So today we will talk about the things that we like, the things that we hate and our recommendations. Let's go to work! First, let's talk about the things that we like. It has the same Snapdragon 888 as Galaxy S21. Although we now have Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and soon to be Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, Snapdragon 888 is one of the fastest processors in a smartphone today. Mobile games I play with this phone is absolutely smooth. Most of them can be played on ultra or high settings, and I barely feel any hiccups. Certainly, I was able to switch back and forth between apps without any issues on Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Although it only has 6 gigs of RAM on my test unit, I also appreciate how the phone can handle some fairly demanding apps without hesitation. I played Mobile Legends on Galaxy S21 FE and the game ran smoothly without sacrificing the graphic effects of the team plays and I didn't have any issue with the gameplay lags. My experience is reflected by our benchmark test for the Galaxy S21 FE. When we run the Geekbench 5, we got a multi-score of 3199. It is lagging behind the older OnePlus 9, but faster than last year's Pixel 6 if you want to run comparables on similar flagship models. Next is the 5G connectivity. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is equipped with 5G chip that will give you insane performance and download and upload speed. On my day-to-day -day use, the 5G seems to hit the battery a little bit, so I'm playing around 5G or LTE at times. I don't really need the fastest download speed because normally I only do video streaming and occasional web surfing and social media. Still, for someone's dying need of the fastest connectivity, even the fan edition has it. The 6.4-inch AMOLED panel of Galaxy S21 FE is larger than standard Galaxy S21 6.2-inch display, though a bit smaller than 6.5-inch screen of last generation's Galaxy S20 FE. The smaller panel doesn't feel particularly cramped, and it probably makes the S21 FE easier to use with one hand than the previous model. And like the S20 FE, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE can support 120Hz refresh rate, if you set the motion smoothness to high in a device settings app. That means scrolling will look smoother on Galaxy S21 FE's display, which lead to a better overall experience with the phone. That said, you can only toggle between 120Hz and 60Hz manually. We measured the Galaxy S21 FE's display at 700 nits with adaptive brightness turned on. That's just shy away of Samsung Galaxy S21 that max out at 711 nits. The next thing that we like is the improved night mode, and this is particularly important with the flagship phones and what separates them from the other models. Coming from the older S10 and S20, Samsung S21 Fan Edition seems to have a better night mode than the previous model, and it seems to be comparable more with the newer flagship phones today. I wouldn't say it is the best, but the low light photos you get from this phone is pretty good, and if you post this on social media, you won't probably notice the difference compared to the more expensive smartphones. 4K 30fps. And that leads me to the next thing that we like, the good all-around camera. It is a solid camera phone because it packs a similar hardware and zoom capabilities as the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. Its triple camera can consistently capture photos and 4K videos with stellar quality, including scenes with less than ideal lighting. The Samsung's camera app has an intuitive interface and a ton of tools for making the most of its multiple onboard sensors. Some of the coolest bits including portrait mode for photos and videos, a night mode for capturing poorly lit scenes without a flash, and a dual video recording, just to name a few. The cameras of this phone is pretty good, it will beat some of the rivals on the same price bracket. This phone ships with Android 12 out of the box and upgradable to Android 13. One UI became one of the most well-received UI for Android smartphones because of its minimalistic look and Samsung brings the same to S21 FE. 
Samsung promises three Android OS updates and four years of security updates to all its high-end phones and some mid-range phones. Going by that commitment, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE should get three years of Android OS updates, the Android 13, 14, and Android 15. In terms of battery life, S21 FE is one of the more solid phones I held this year with great battery life. And if you want to know more about the battery performance of the phone, I will link the video test of S21 FE versus Samsung Galaxy S22 on the description below. I can easily go all day without charging and a 25 watts wired charging is good enough for me. It can deliver 50% in 30 minutes. This phone also supports Samsung DeX, so if you want to use the desktop version for productivity, you will have the same functionality on this budget Samsung S21 Fan Edition. And the last thing that we like is the IP68 rating. It can be submerged to water up to 1.5 meters in 30 minutes. So if you need to go underwater, splash it in the rain, or take it in the shower, this phone will survive. I actually brought this on one of my trips that involves dunking this to water, and this phone survived. So these are the things that we like about this phone. Let's talk about the cons. Now let's talk about the things that we hate. First, the lower resolution telephoto camera compared to Galaxy S21. And here you will feel that extra $100 difference on both phones. So if you would buy these two phones in use market, the Samsung Galaxy S21 has better resolution telephoto than the fan edition. On my personal test, there's a significant difference when you zoom into photos, the regular S21 giving you more detailed images when cropped in. Samsung also includes less RAM on S21 FE with only 128 gigs on the base model, sporting only 6 gigs to 8 gigs found on the standard S21. So there are three variants of S21 Fan Edition and the base model only has 6 gigs of RAM. If you go higher, then might as well consider S22. The 120Hz refresh rate isn't adapted on S21 FE. That said, you can only toggle between 120Hz and 60Hz manually. The other phones in the S21 lineup have adaptive displays that adjust on the fly. It is perhaps a minor distinction but then again, it helps to explain that $100 difference with a standard S21. One of the major drawbacks in design is the build quality. The back of the phone is only plastic and that would accumulate scratches easily. Holding this phone, it's more like a Samsung A-series phone packed with some serious specs. So in your daily activity, you would probably end up using a case in the totality of its life. One thing I noticed on my camera test, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, although has stabilization, is a bit shaky when using the selfie camera. It isn't too bad if you're just using it for selfie pictures, but when you consider vlogging, either use a gimbal or move slowly to remove the shakiness of the footage. Just one thing I noticed. One more camera drawback I noticed is there's no 8K video recording. Like its predecessors, S21, it is capable of shooting smooth 8K footage. At this point in time, no one is recording much on 8K. Also, the size of the storage for the base model is 128 gigs, so that will be filled out quickly shooting too many 8K videos. And lastly, the size of this phone is bigger and it's heavier compared to the regular S21. Do I feel the difference? Certainly. In my day-to-day -day activity, I prefer the size and weight of the S21 compared to Fan Edition, especially because the Fan Edition needs a case because of the plastic back. It's adding up to the weight and bulkiness of the phone. That is something to note about. So these are the things that we don't like about the Samsung S21 Fan Edition. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So after the pros and cons of this phone, recommendations. I will not recommend this phone to people who needs 8K recording. There's no 8K video recording and the selfie camera is a little shaky for vlogging. Also, you need to put a case on this phone. Get the slimmest case as possible. And I will recommend this phone to anyone who's on a budget and it's a great flagship phone that can be used for gaming and a camera that will match the newer phones of 2023. With the Snapdragon 888, the awesome triple camera setup and a decent battery life after one year. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is a great phone that ages well. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare this phone in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.